I could while away the hour confirmed with the flower. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today you're going to do a get up with me and I have a little secret to tell you. I'd unravel every riddle for any individual in trouble or in pain. With the thoughts you'd be thinking you could be another Lincoln if you only had a brain. Oh, I tell you why. The ocean's near the shore. I could think of things I never thought before. And then I'd sit and think some more. I would not be just a nothing. My head all full of stuffin', my heart all full of pain. I would dance and be merry, life would be a ding a dairy if I only had a brain. So my sister gave me a Christmas tree that she had in her garage, so I think I'm going to put this one in the spare bedroom. Tea's already been up and he's made himself a cup of coffee. It would be awful pleasing to reason out the reason for things I can't explain. Then perhaps I'll deserve you and be even worthy of you if I only had a brain.
Okay, you guys, so now me and T are getting ready to go to Woolettes. It's a bakery in St. Paul, and we're going to pick out my birthday cake. My birthday is on Tuesday, December 11th, and my brother's is the 10th, and my niece's is the 12th. So we're going to go there and order a cake because on Thursday, I have some friends from work coming over, and they're my close friends, and we're going to, like... Have Chinese, have my cake, and celebrate my birthday. And I don't know if you already know or figured it out. All my close friends know. This is a little something about me that you probably don't know. But when I was a baby, I was adopted by a Norwegian and an Irish couple. And their names are Kathleen and Roger Melby. And they got me between eight and ten months old. Can't really remember the date. And they took me in when I was just a baby. And they already had six of their own children. Three girls and three boys. And they took me in too. Um, and as you know, if they're Irish, putting my lips on, sorry, I'm kind of doing everything a little backwards. So, you know, if, um, they're Irish or Norwegian, Norwegian, they are white. So, um. I'm the only black child in the family. And the funny thing is, and it sounds weird and people may think it's funny, but I just thought I came out this color. I did not realize that there was a difference. I just thought I'm just dip, just a different one. I did not realize that um, you're, you know, if your parents are black, you're black. If your parents are white, you're white. I just you came out this color it's just something that you think of as a kid because you know no different you're treated like everybody else um so why should you think anything different so that is my tidbit about me that you probably don't didn't know or if you're fig trying to figure it out my dad is still alive he is going to be 96 in may my mother passed away 15 16 years ago, I believe. Um, my parents got me in their 40s, so I had older parents. Um, the thing is, I always wonder where would I be if I didn't get adopted by these two. And it just breaks your heart because, I mean, anything could have happened, you know? Um, you could be anywhere and you may not turn out the way you turn out. Sorry guys. So I thank my family for taking me in and for um, just enduring me as a child with the struggles that I had from the abuse that I had <clears throat> before they got me. And I thank them from the bottom of my heart to have such a great family and to have the sisters and the brothers that love me and that would fight for me every day and to think I was the most important thing to them as a child. So <laughs> that is my thing that I just wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, sorry. And I miss my mother dearly. When holidays came around, she made it so magical for us. I just couldn't wait for the holidays. My mother always said every year, you kids aren't getting much for Christmas. And every year we got plenty. Um, always more than our wildest dreams. And as I get older, I realize holidays are so much about family and the love that you get from them. And I will never, ever, ever forget that in the way that Christmas made me feel. So thank you, Mom, and thank you, Dad, for taking me. Merry Christmas.